Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyrant Saber. Last time out, Jason had his probably worst outing this year for certain and worst outing in a while in general against the New York Yankees at home, allowing 10 hits and a walk for six runs, including a three-run shot from uh, David Ramirez to left field, collecting eight strikeouts, and despite all that, still winning the game due to the... uh, pitching malfeasance of Henderson Alvarez for the Yankees. Um, I think at this point it's safe to say that this beard combo, beard hair combo is not working out for Jason. It's just not doing what we need it to do. Um, So we are going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of change it up because clearly this is not working for Jay. We need to fix it somehow. We'll try that for a while. See how he does. So let's get back out here and get back at it. Hopefully, Jason's glorious facial hair will now uh, restore his pitching abilities. Bullpen day. What do we got? Get some K for 9 up there. That would be nice. Um, Hits for 9 would take us to 80. Hits for 9, I think, at this point. Uh, What else we got? Nothing terribly impressive, I guess. So, yeah, let's pop that hits for 9 up. Try to limit some of the damage that has been done recently. And get out here for our next game. So Jason will be pitching against the Baltimore Orioles at home. Now Jason has played the Orioles a number of times before, played nine games, has a 5-1 record against them, a 163 ERA, and a 207 Woba. So, you know... Possibly confirmation bias that, that Jason has had better results against them. I uh, guess we'll see how Jason does with the beard again. And, uh, yeah, just going to have to see how he does. So let's get out here and get it. Now from Fenway Park here in Boston. Today it's the finale of this four-game set between the Baltimore Orioles and the Boston Red Sox. Baltimore attempt to end a six game losing streak next. Jason Harum will be on the mound for game four. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty, be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. So coming to the plate, Kevin Lane. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Well, I'll be honest, Jason has not really been justifying that $6 million arbitration salary that he earned this year, so... Here, hoping he can turn it around here against the Baltimore Orioles. Let's get started. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Underway at the ballpark this afternoon as the first pitch is in there for strike one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, this is the big one here, Matty. You know what, d They're about to head on a nine-game roadie. One thing they'd like to do, get on that plane feeling good about themselves and salvage the last game of this series. Yeah, Dan, they need to find a way to win this one today. Get on the flight. Makes everybody's dinner taste better. Nine-game road trip coming up. A lot of packing Bounce involved. Bounce a curveball out there on the, the outside. No, no joy there. Home. The one, one on the inside now. Hit in the air Kevin down Lane the right gets a line. touch of that uh, one, but can only send it foul. foul that wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball. Mm, a cutter bit just down. off the Maybe black there, and the no time. swing, so ball two. Let's try one bottom of the zone. Line drive Makes left. contact, but it's straight but out there for Andrew Benintendi, and that's one away. Center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Danny, any thoughts? You know, I'm excited to watch Justin Upton right now. He's got over a thousand RBIs. He's already proved he's a clutch hitter. He knows how to drive in big runs when it counts. So if the situation comes up in this game, I'm looking to watch how he goes to work in the clutch. 
ready now for Baltimore. Jorge Polanco, and he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Jorge Polanco and it's has faced away. off against Jason a couple times, but mostly from being on the Pirates, which was, of course, Jason's uh, hey, one out here. original the wind up. Here organization comes the team that drafted him. Strike two at a pitch that 95 miles the an hour in the top corner, corner taken We're for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. And he fouls takes a whack off. at a slider inside off the plate. That one was early for a foul ball. Stays alive, though. So next call is for something. But I'm doing a change up instead. Bounces it over to second base. Tony Kemp gets it over to first base. I think that's Dan Vogelbach over there. And that'll be the second out. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Trey Mancini, of course, has a number of plate appearances against Jason. He's at 25 plate appearances now. Career 290 Oba, uh, Woba and a 680 OPS. Not all that impressive, all things considered. He's got a 400 slugging average, but not... Uh, a single walk to his name, one home run in all those plate appearances. Hey, get a good one here right now. So, someone to take Hold seriously, but not pitch. necessarily be afraid of. On the other hand, that's a nice little a swing out there, field. a little gap, and that's a two-out hit. It'll be a man Joey on first with, for Joey Gallo swinging in the cleanup spot. No mistake what he was sitting on. Now, Joey Gallo, Gallo excuse me, um, clearly miss it. one of so the better be players on the, in the, the Texas Joey Rangers Gallo. organization. To get going at the plate. But it's right now in the middle of something of a dry game. spell here, 0 for 17. I don't know if you saw that stat box. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And that one just missed outside. That's not a bad Jason's pitch only right got there, a that few plate appearances against away from a uh, Joey hitter. Gallo. About Didn't seven. Strike, this will be his seven. Like the idea behind the pitch. The Joey one, does one pitch. have a Hit home run in that span. Low, and one. And but I think now that he plate, is in Valentine, the American League East with the Orioles, Jason will be seeing a lot more Joey Gallo. Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north south without question. Okay, two seamer low, low really part of the zone for a 2 2 count. Consistently pitch at about the chest level and above. He'll call that high strike zone. I think he's Try a to change very up. Takes us reach for Way one on the outside the half Not off the plate. Of chance at hitting and that one that'll and end the inning. Orioles leave one. O's zero. Sox coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. See what the Red Sox can do against these Baltimore Orioles. In now for the O's, Andrew Tolles carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. Kevin Gossman holds him scoreless in the first half of the, or in the second, in the bottom half of the first, excuse me. So Andrew Tolles, late of the Dodgers, takes first a chance pitch, at the plate against way. Jason. A ball and no strikes. Now, Jason used to play against the Dodgers on the regular, so he has a lot of plate appearances. I mean, he has a fair number of plate appearances against Andrew Tolles in his career. He has nine. This will be his ninth, rather. Career 722 OPS and a 500 slugging percent against Jason, including this plate appearance. So we'll find out what he can do here. Uh, fouled off that cutter. So one, we'll see what he can do now. High in the air and Pops that one center. up to left Waiting field. Andrew Benintendi there in plenty of time to pull it in. And that'll be out number out one. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. The guy I want to focus on is outfielder Andrew Benintendi. Also a hybrid type outfielder. Forced to move to a corner in Boston with the likes of Jackie Bradley Jr. and Mookie Betts out there. But a guy who can play center with a strong, accurate arm. And we know he can roll the pole. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Derek Dietrich. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a swing and a miss and a circle changeup on the inside. He was early on it. 
for the first strike. Calls now for a curveball outside corner. And a pitch in that one, one falls off. well it's short one one. for the first no ball. Score here as we play inning number two. So we'll try another changeup outside corner. He taps that one. And again was early on it. Yeah, let's get cheeky. Give him a little ant special. High inside curveball. We can make pretend like this is supposed to be a Ephus pitch, but we of course know the truth. Swihart swings right. over there to and the corner, the and that'll be two away on the pop-up. Corner. Here's Justin I mean, Upton of course, now. the edge of the, to get it going. Off to a bit of a the edge of the field near the stands. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And that one I've said it many times. Low, I know words have meanings, but sometimes out, my brain on. is not the best about finding those things. Line nice line shot to left field, and once again, the two outs, the two out batter, has been Jason's kind of Achilles heel this whole time. Allowed yet another runner on after two quick outs, and that'll bring on uh, Chance Cisco. And that'll bring to up see if he can do anything chance. with it. Cisco. Swing and a miss on the changeup outside. The I think he was early on that one. one. Upton leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Oh, Swing and a miss on one well outside the zone. Not sure why he went for that one. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I'm on the hill, I'm throwing that changeup again. Didn't look like he picked it up very well out of his hand. How about a slider inside? A ball and two Just about the got the zone Baxter on that one, now. but no swing. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing? Not that going one? for that a circle change up outside. So now two we're back to two and two. two. The count to Chance Cisco. So let's try high inside fastball in air to away cutter. Away. Waiting on it. Flares out to Andrew Benintendi, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So stepping in. So Elliot no score for the Red Sox after two innings. The third, top of the order to so we will try to the at -bat on its way. once again the get these guys out of here without a run across. We got Mr. Elliot Rice, apparently new to the Orioles, or at least to Jason. Hey, no so we'll see how he can do. Curveball across. Ball that one does not get low. in the zone, so that's ball and a strike. Let's go cutter inside. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And there's mm, a pitch just, just off the black. The no swing. Calls now for a slider on the outside half. Usually feel pretty awkward about these, but and that one really gets the call. On the edge here, two a little generous two in my opinion, but they didn't ask me. Another one. Just to make sure I don't screw this one up, I'm going to use a little showtime. Put it on the outside corner. See if Mr. Rice can make contact. Let's get it. And it's three and two well, now to the number nine hitter. Guess That's the ump made a makeup call on that one. Away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably so can't cutter throw again, again, top so of the zone. Is probably up there Swings on it. That one's leading out drill. to left field, ben but Benny ranges over, over the for the first out. Puts it away for the first out of the Not inning. Bad. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. And it's yet a bit early in the season so far, but Toronto is three games ahead of Boston in the standings. I think some of that is due to uh, lack of games being played so far, but we'll find out. It's early yet. We got time to make it up. Here's the first pitch to him. And a curveball. Curveball just about gets the corner, but no dice. So let's try two seamer low. Kevin Lane makes contact, but it's right at Tony Kemp for the second out. 
Jason again not getting too many strikeouts today. Standing in, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the at bat. A change Gets a up, change up on the outside, outside the corner for a strike. Try a two seamer there, same spot. Good spot, but the ump doesn't that see it that like way. It could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the. No at swing on the circle, circle changeup change down. For ball two. And calls for an inside two seamer. Guess we'll give it a try. See what happens. Might have jammed him a little there as this is jammed. Polanco at the plate. He was laid on it on for a 2-2 right pitch. I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate So let's right go here. high outside fastball. And Swing a fastball. and a miss. And miss. There's the that strikeout I was looking for, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Home half of the third coming up. No score. I'm beginning to think that our idea that uh, Jason cutting his hair was a problem is actually correct Settling here. Settling in now, Trey Mancini. He reached on a single in his first He made try. himself a this Cy Young contender on the strength of that glorious mane of hair of his of last year, and then when he cut it, he just kind of had middling results. To get some and in the, get him in, the spring training the and first couple games of this season with his hair and beard cut short, wasn't really working. So First you might have to grow that way. back out over the course of the season. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Still no runs across in after defense. three innings. This has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while. So Matt, I guess we will find out how we're doing. Well, Trey Mancini holds up on that pitch. Pitches. This is going to be a little late on it, but it was out of the zone, so well, called you're in for a ball. The plate if you fall behind this guy. 0-2, so that was a good job to hold up right there. No swing on the low changeup. I think now I'm going to go high inside fastball. Takes a whack at one well inside, and that's the second strike. So on 2-2 count, calls for a slider outside. I like it. Let's do it. Give it one on the corner, see if he takes a swing. Swing, Swing and a miss. miss. Trey Mancini goes down, down on strikes. One. That's Classic the first out. Slider down Have and a away seat for the and strike get out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Up next for the Orioles. Here's Joe so. Gallo now. Gallo. Joe Gallo gets a piece of that changeup, but doesn't Looking get it to put fair. The ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. It's early on that one. Calls for another one. This one inside. So let's get this one across. Gallo swings and cranks it. Right field. Deep and gone. Joey Gallo breaks the scoreless tie with a. Home run to right field, and that'll be another one off of Jason. Big Joey First Gallo run of the game, the yard with a solo and ba Home Baltimore's up one nothing on over year. Boston. As the O's are on the board first, it's one to nothing. So pick your pants up, back up. No, uh, pick yourself back up. Pull your pants up, and let's try it again, Jay. And we got Andrew Tolles up to the plate. Wax went over to second base. Tony Kemp kind of bobbles it. Does make the recovery, but that's kind of an unfortunate little indicator of where he might be playing at what level he's on. Now Derek Dietrich, stalwart of the Baltimore Orioles as Jason has faced them. Here's the first pitch to him. Got a 212 Wobe and a 500 OPS. Not numbers you could really you know, boast Maddie, about here, but league, nothing else. You can't say that he hasn't put, right in, put in appearances but against Jason. He's got 24 plate appearances here. here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Mm, circle change just off the corner for a 1-1 pitch. 
just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys. So let's try it again. Throw that sink and fastball for fear that Rounder up the middle, up. and oh, oh man, Adam dirty. Frazier makes the a great diving catch give it up to deny Derek Dietrich that base hit and get us out of the inning. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stoppage short. We return to Fenway Park after this. Beautiful play from Adam Frazier. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Just in Boston up. still denied a run, run in the contest. bottom of the fourth, so we are still down one nothing in the top of the fifth. First Kevin Gossman clearing, clearly up. doing his job out there. Just a bit high that time. Cutter stays up, so it's a one one nothing count. A change low is the call. Gets it in the zone for the first strike. Of the zone for a strike. Justin Upton, even more plate appearances for the Orioles, than, or even more plate appearances against Jason than the uh, than Derek Dietrich. He's on plate appearance number 32. Don't recall how many of them were with the Orioles, but it's clear. Oh, right at Raphael Devers. Pulls it in at the hot corner for the first out. In any case, uh, Justin Upton at this point now 188 average with a 438 OPS and a 187 Woba. Once again, not good numbers, but uh, he has definitely been out here so many times. We're starting to recognize him every time he comes to the plate. Now the pitch. Chase Cisco, 10th appearance against Jason. He's been with the... Orioles for a while now, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, Wellington Castillo was the catcher last year for them, and he's no longer on this lineup, or at least he's not with them today. So I'm not clear where he's at or where the Baltimore Orioles are at. That one is straight up the middle. Adam Frazier makes a nice ranging uh, play over to his left to pull that one in and make the play get him out on that grounder. I don't know that we would have had that same kind of luck if it had been, so say, Raul Mondesi up there Elliot Wright. or Tsui Lin. Lin. I like them both, but uh, that was just Wright. an excellent, excellent play out there by Adam Frazier. First offering on its way. So Elliot Rice out here strikes. takes ball one. Jason getting some cover from his de defense out here. Baby, a ball and a strike. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. A high fastball That'll be a strike there. two. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality. Give him a slider in under the hands, I hope. Excuse me. Came out kind of weird. Give him a slider under the hands. Can't get to it. Can't get the bat off the shoulder, and that'll be the end of the fifth. So here's hoping Boston can get those bats working because we are still down one to nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Kevin Lane, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Still nothing for Boston going into the top of the sixth. Ready with the first so pitch. Kevin Gossman throwing a gem there for the Orioles. Over the inside corner. And if not you know, for that guys, homer, Jason would like still be trigger, immaculate oh, oh. today too, but that's by. not where Calibrate we find ourselves. Speed, calibrate the break and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. So oh, two-seamer just off the black, no strike. swing. And that is a 1-1 one, one count. Slider is now the call on the outside corner. I'm going to go ahead and use some showtime on it just in case. Is Swing and a miss. For strike number two. Out there on the corner. Good. Good pitch on that one. Good bite to the slider. Right Makes contact with and the changeup, though. A so little bit high in the zone. The Kevin Lane gets on base Boy, with no one away, and kind of that's series. man and on first. he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Okay, so curveball dips ball low, no one. swing. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 
Try another one. Same spot. Still dips low. No swing. He's going Not the way we want to play it. Speed stuff to start this AB, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards. But okay, only works so if you get them circle change up. Now gets the corner, the and he takes a whack at it. Hey, deep, huh? Here you go. So let's try a fastball Count up. Two Swings two through it. Blanco. Two and two now. Good timing on that cutter. He just missed it low. So let's try a slider inside off the plate does not get back with the meat of the so order full count you can calls now for an outside slider let's go ahead and give it to him because I got nothing better in mind and a swing and a miss or hey Blanco goes down on strikes and that'll be out number That's one of the inning pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution if he hits it there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Nice slider. Nice throw. Nice catch. Good timing. Just the wrong spot on that ball. And here's the big right-handed power threat. Trey Mancini holds off on one below the zone, and that's ball one. Lane, base runner at first with one out. Ground ball. Grounded shot. over to uh, a diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And that is not going to do it. Too late and there are two Rafael Devers knocks it down but can't get his glove on the ball, so that is going to be a base hit for Trey Mancini. And that'll bring Joey Gallo back to the plate. We like to see home runs in this park, but we like to see them when our team knocks them, not the other guys. First offering on its way. And that's a nice little pop up there for Joey Gallo. Get the infield fly rule going, and that'll be his the out for that. Second out of the inning. That'll bring up Andrew Tolles. Speedy left-handed hitter Andrew Tolles. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Looking to keep this a one-run game. The cutter stays out of the zone. Jason again having some trouble keeping it in the zone today. Hasn't walked anybody, but that's not going to matter if he can't get balls in the zone, and that's going to be another run across. Andrew Tolles knocks an RBI single. you got to figure that that's going to be all for him today. Kevin Lane comes home on that RBI single right up the middle. Big two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you watch your teammate in front of you miss his Well, they pitch. are going to leave nice Jason in to try to right close there. out this Pops inning, but... You can tell he was dejected as he went back to the dugout. All you're trying to do is be a great teammate. Sean Casey always used to say to me, Hey, d -Row, mix in a good teammate one time. That's exactly what this guy did. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your pitch. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. Swing and a miss on that cutter in his side. The that jammed him. At this point, Jason's just game, going for pride because it's not looking too good for his guys. Curveball outside. All right here. Knocks it over to Devers Rafael Devers, Devers, gets it over to second. To second Tony Kemp makes the play, and that time. will end the inning, and you got to figure that Jason's had enough today. This has not been a good start to the season for Jason Parham, I have to say. We would like to have seen him come into this year continuing the strong streak of last year, but it's just not playing out that way for him. So, after six innings, Jason gets relieved in the seventh for Craig Kimbrell. 2 nothing is where we left it with Jason, so we'll find out if Boston can pull it back. Otherwise, he's on the hook for his first loss of the season. Survey says... Yeah, it's only been a week, but I guess it probably feels like a million years ago since they had their last win. But this six-game losing streak is behind them now, so we'll see if they well, can compared to last time, it was a much better showing, but Jason can't provide the today. outing that his team the needs. Allows two runs on six and hits, including a Joey Gallo end. home run. Collects five strikeouts, and his guys mound, can't collect the runs the they year. need, so he takes Jason the loss. Parham he goes to 2-1 well, and one on the season, earned, and he goes to 48-33 and in his career. His ERA is at 3.81, his FIP is at 3.54, and his XFIP is at 3.46. So that's going to do it for me.
Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.